with the Missouri Lottery. And by AT&T Ufers. Find out what's possible with AT&T. Call 1-800-PICK-ATT. Mobilizing your world. And by Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. No love uh, for the Blues tonight in Philadelphia as the Flyers beat them 3-1. to one. Let's get back to Philly one more time. Darren Pang talking it over with Jaden Schwartz. Panger. Well, I guess Jaden Schwartz, a team that prides himself on leading after two periods. It's not normal that we see uh, a lead relinquished in this hockey game. Was there anything that you can share with us that you thought uh, went wrong in that third period? Uh, just a couple of these on, I think, uh, mistakes. Um, might have sat back on our heels a little bit too much there. Needed to uh, keep pushing, try to get that second goal to give us a little more of a lead. But, uh, you know, they gave us a push and we didn't respond in the right way. What part of the game of the Philadelphia Flyers did you take away that, uh, that as a hockey club, you need to adjust? Uh, well, we did some good things today. Um, you know, we had that legal in the third. Uh, I've seen everyone to blow it, but um, like I said, a couple of these own mistakes. Uh, I think on the four check, we were getting beat too many times coming up the ice. Um, instead of just getting the puck stopped and, and playing in there, and I don't think we had enough zone time, but uh, you know, they're a big physical team, and uh, we got to learn from that. and. Um, when we have a lead going to third, uh, I think we need to tighten up and, f and focus on uh, being on our toes and still playing in the end rather than just kind of sitting back on it. New teammate in there, Robert Bortuzzo. He uh, looked like he uh, fit in there quite well with your squad. Uh, excited to have a big fella, six foot four, 210 pounds. Yeah, he's he's a great addition for us. Uh, really, really glad we got that player. Um, you know, two other guys that, that we got will, will help us too. But uh, he's a big physical defenseman, uh, a big element for us. I know playing against him wasn't easy, so he's he'll bring that to the table. And um, just in practice, you can tell getting those shots through from the point. He's got a big heavy shot as well. Schwartz, just one question for you about going up against a goalie like Mason. You did beat him. You're the only goal scored in the game for the St. Louis Blues. But what, what were some of the things that he did well against you? Uh, he did have a great game. Uh, a couple of timely saves for them. Uh, don't think we had enough traffic, a lot of point shots. He, he was seeing them. Um, but I think same thing last last year in this building. He uh, played well for them, got them the two points. And uh, when you play him at home, we'll have to adjust. You have a good memory. <laughs> yeah, I try to. Thanks for it to get ready for Toronto. Thanks. All right, Panger. Thanks a lot. So, uh, you know, he's, he talked about what went wrong in the third period. A couple of breakdowns, really. Well, that's all it is, and uh, the uh, you know the Flyers took advantage uh, of the mistakes that the Blues made. I mean, and the Blues don't usually make mistakes, and uh, you know what? I, I think they're really the, even the Flyers. I mean, uh, I think you, Schwartz, you talked about the fact there was no sustained pressure that the Blues had. Well, I don't think the Flyers had any sustained pressure. Uh, they scored a goal uh, really off the the play uh, where Oshie got you know stuck in, uh, and he got blocked out coming back with a shot from the point, and even uh, the Reed. Uh, play over to Strite that led to the second goal was was just off the rush. So uh, the Blues really didn't give up a lot of sustained pressure. It was just uh, the Flyers uh, made you know good plays to score off the rush. And when you do that, uh, you really have to compliment them about the way they played. But you know, out of 29 games where the Blues now have had the lead going to the third period, Jim, this is the only second time that they've lost in regulation. So uh, it has been very impressive with the way they've handled themselves, uh, hanging on to the lead. And uh, unfortunately tonight, uh, they let one get away. And uh, that's something you have to learn about because uh, there's no question that you can't give up those leads in the playoffs and I think everything that they do now is going to be geared to getting set for the playoffs so uh, there's only five weeks left before you play for real and uh, these are little mistakes that uh, the Blues have to learn from uh, they've got a good veteran hockey club and uh, I think when you look at it it was the Blues number one line that was on the ice for both those yeah. uh, goals which is very unusual uh, because they're so solid defensively but uh, things happen sometimes you have breakdowns and uh, un unfortunately you have to give uh, the Flyers an awful lot of credit on, on this win tonight. 28 saves tonight uh, for Brian Elliott he also provided our Menards big money moment with uh, some very good for that. Yeah, the Flyers, you know, didn't have, as I said, a lot of sustained pressure, but he made a really